and welcome to Retro Roulette. Uh, spoofy. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dan Forgione. Hey, hit left. And Jason Amherst. Do, do you has this spoofy? No, I use YouTube music. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I used to use Spotify, but the Spotify kind of tends to fuckify their creators. <laughs> yeah. So you know, even even even, even Google kind of like that too. Considering uh, they just shut down YouTube or uh, Google Podcasts. David Draymond even wrote a Although, song uh, about it. If you use Spotify, then you will fuckify everything that we've ever done, including that band of ice. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's not that's not David Draymond. That's Serge Tankian. <laughs> David Draymond is disturbed, <laughs> and also his band well, was yeah, called. Is, his band was called. Disturbed. His band was also called Disturbed. <laughs> what? A, what a, uh, wah. Let's spin this wheel. <laughs> where, where's this? That's, let's, that's just so fuck, great, let's just fuck ourselves in the ass. Dane's choice. Hey, Dane, pick a game. Um, let's see. I think I want to see Roadrunner's Death Valley Road. Yeah, let's do it. It's been on the wheel forever. Let's let's finally play it and get rid of it. So <laughs> time to yeet Roadrunner and Coyote off a cliff. This, ga this game has been on the wheel for quite some time, at least since the beginning of the year, so... Hey, Warner Brothers, stop being a bunch of cowards and release Coyote vs. Acme. All right. Yeah. Doot, doot, doot. Zippity splat. You you get a movie um, test audience where it has the highest rating ever, and you decide, nah, we're not going to release it. Who gives a shit? Speedometrist Maximus. Maximus. Yeah. This is a coyote, Hungarius uncontrollable. Okay. It's already on brand with Roadrunner cartoons. Yes. Watch this uh, end up being like some sort of hidden gem. Oh, you're playing as Roadrunner. Okay. Yes. Well, that means if I get caught by the uh, by the coyote, it's my own fault, huh? I need, yeah. I mm. need bird seed. No. I need birdseed. He is so fucking floaty. Oh my god. Yeah. That's. How do I get the birdseed? Do I. Do you... I think you just go up to it? Do you? I think there's a button for pecking. Is there? Maybe. I... Oh, yeah, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. That must be a checkpoint. I'm just gonna. Oh. I'm just gonna go up here and hit a cactus bush, I guess. Whoa! Me. Doesn't Fuck hurt off. that Roadrunner seems to be impervious to pain. Uh, that might be accoutrements. Possibly. Bop, bop, bop. Another float. Me. Me. That just reminds me of uh, when they made fun of uh, ha. See you. of uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle and uh, June Foray uh, on uh, Simpsons with uh, Itchy and Scratchy. Oh my god, you're the voice of Itchy and Scratchy and Roadrunner. Meep. Wasn't it me? Uh, they only had me record it once and then uh, they oh doubled my over god. it. Oh my god. Wow, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog, only floatier. Which is not a good thing. No, it's not. Man, I had hopes for this. All right. It's been so it's, much. We spent so much. It's been so much time on the wheel. I had. To, I was thinking, ah, man, it has to be at least decent. It, listen, it's not. I remember this game, and I remember it not being that good. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You know, perhaps I was a little hasty in choosing this game. It's all right. We all make mistakes. Should have just I'm gone with gonna, the sure thing. Hold on a second. I'm not going to say that this is a terrible game. Because it's not like, well, this game fucking sucks. It's more like this is a very underwhelming game. Me. 
fucking meep. Excuse me. This music is absolutely hor horrendous, though. Boop a baby bird dirt and dirt and dirt. Scat yeah, did did a... Scatman John make this music before his before his big hit, <laughs> Scatman's World? I'm the Road Runner Man. Lands uh -oh. awesome. Ow. And the coyote is dead. Hey, there's the two meeps. Oh, okay, I see. There was like oh, shit. I missed a shitload of flags. I didn't see it. I didn't see that many flags. Really. They must have been out of the way where I couldn't find them. Well, you know, we missed the red flag. So there you go. We missed the uh, the lots of flags, as it turns out. Hey. Hey. Whoops. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Coyote. He's going to take care of himself. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Roadrunner wants to die. So. That's right. He's nihilistic, Roadrunner. Birdseed. Meep. Meep, meep. Life is meaningless. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> I meep at Arby's. I sure... Meep. Oh, man, I'll meep your Arby's. Excuse me? You heard me. You heard meep. <laughs> His favorite Muppet is a uh, beaker, of course. <laughs> meep, 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 meep. Meep indeed, my friend. Is that a shield? Uh, yeah. Kind oh. of uh, meaningless when, uh... Meaningless for the accoutrements, but yeah, it's nice to know that it exists. Get the fuck out of here, coyote. Shit. Yeah! It's, uh... Eat all 55. of our shirts. I can't drive. 55! Boom, 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 boom. Forty-seven times a charm. Whatever, fucking. Doing? Oh. Jesus Christ! This game's all over the place. This desert is like pretty fucking Dada esque. <laughs> Did Dolly Salvador Dolly make this desert? <laughs> There's floating things, every floating platforms Look, everywhere, and is this an acid these. trip? Hello, this is Salvador Dali. I made this desert with my wheelie and my, my boozy. Uh huh. That's. I like, I like to. I like to give women the old hoochie coochie with my mustache. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Move it, move it. Care package. Those look like the same scorpions from Super Star Wars. Time bonus? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yeah, extra time, maybe. It was a, it was a clock, so I'm going to see. Oh, it's a clock. Clock you. Clock. Yeah. Clyde, you rule those guys. Get away. Get away. Eat the birds. Oh, these freaking yeah. jumps ever. Yeah, it's. I don't know why. There are some games where Road Road floaty jumps work. Yeah, Roadrunner should heck? not be floor floorty. Lordy. Lord, lordy, 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 germ. lordy, lordy. Look who's floorty. <laughs> we're the lordy, lordy, lordy. Look who's turning forty, forty. So he's turning eighty. Uh, no, like 40-40, like 4040. Oh. Methuselah? Uh, Count Markula? It was, uh, it was the, uh, the landlord from, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Mm, yes, that's, that's right. <laughs> Meep. 
Meep, meep, meep. meep. This, this, the music sounds like what if the composer of the Rocky and Bullwinkle theme had a stroke? Oh, there's just the finish right there. All right, cool. I just want to call Splombulins. This game is very underwhelming. Do, 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 do. <laughs> was this uh, was this Sunsoft? Yes. Yeah. Far Cry from like the bangers. No, that, that they used Far to Cry is Ubisoft. Uh, the NES. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Uh, developed by Icom Simulations, founded in 1981, defunct 1998. Defunct, From Wheeling, right. Illinois. They are known for the Mac Venture series of adventure games. Including Shadowgate. Hmm. They also made uh, Beavis and Butthead and Virtual Stupidity. Which I believe that's not a bad game. And it's also the follow-up to Jamiroquai's Virtual Insanity. <gasps> you know what? Sure. Why not? Honest. Uh, I know. Virtual founded, uh, Stupidity. Originally is TMQ Software by Todd Zipnick, who unfortunately died of Hodgkin's disease in 1991, just as the company was beginning to take off. Well, that's sad. Uh, they were a major third-party developer for the TurboGrafx-16 in America, uh, including the exclusive Shadowgate sequel, Beyond Shadowgate. Uh, they were acquired by Viacom New Media, uh, which then closed them down in 1997, uh, renamed to Rabid Entertainment uh, and then dismantled in 1998. Uh, the rights to their portfolio are held by Infinite Ventures, owned by David Marsh, who obtained most of the rights in 2012. Uh, Dave Marsh and Carl Roloffs, both former developers at ICOM, formed a new game development company called Zojoy LLC, and have begun releasing upgraded versions of previous ICOM games, <laughs> including Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective for iOS tablets. Ben. Uh, oh. They made the Adams Family for TurboGrafx CD. CD's nuts. Yo Bro for the TurboGrafx 16. Whoops. Uh, Shadowgate, which was also on the NES, as well as the uh, Apple II and Atari ST. Um, Ghost Manor for Turbo Graphics, a lot on the Turbo Graphics actually. Shapeshifter, uh, Camp California, Dick Kicker. Uh, but they did a lot of stuff for Sunsoft uh, with uh, uh, Looney Tunes, Daffy Duck, The Marvin Missions, Bugs Bunny, Rabbit Rampage. Being bought out by Viacom, they also were responsible for the really mediocre Nickelodeon Guts. Oh boy. Have we played that one yet? Uh, nah, that was in 94. Oh, yeah, no, we haven't gotten to that one yet, then. Uh, they did a bunch of PC games uh, for Macintosh and uh, DOS. Uh, MTV Club Dead. Uh, mm -hmm. Are You Afraid of the Dark? The Tale of Orpheo's Curse. Um, but looking at this, uh, Rocco's Modern Life, Spunky's Dangerous Day. Um, ah, Real Monsters. Spunky uh, Day Beavis is a very Butthead. dangerous day. Beavis and Butthead in Little Thingies. What? Beavis and Butthead in Wiener Takes All. What? Beavis and Butthead in Calling All Dorks. What? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. all three of those were PC titles. Beavis and Butthead, Penis, Vagina, Boobs. Uh, MTV <laughs> Slamscape on PlayStation. Uh, Death Drome on PC. And then the last game they ever made was Beavis and Butthead in Screen Wreckers for PC. You can probably find all of these on the Internet Archive. Because it's all abandonware. All right. Thoughts on Roadrunner Death Valley Rally, Dane? Um, extremely underwhelming. Uh, way too fucking floaty of a game. Uh, without accoutrements, this would have been impossible. Even with and... accoutrements, it's not much better. No. I was not impressed, and I believe I made a mistake in choosing this game for the free speed. Jason. Yeah, I I remember playing this game ages ago. A friend of mine had rented it, and I was just like, "This this just ain't as fun as like Tasmania." <laughs> Tasmania was fun. This was frustrating. Yeah, sorry, I was taking a drink of uh, soda. <laughs> Thought you had more to say. Anyway. Yeah, no. Uh, controls are very floaty. Too floaty for this kind of game. It's very frustrating. Uh, most of the time, dying isn't even your own fault. It's just that you can't stop in time to not slide off of a platform. It's really stupid. Um, it's unfortunate, too, because it, it had promise. Scores out of 10, Dane. Four. Jason. Four. I'm going to give it a three. All right. That was well, just a first. It could be game. worse. Could, could be, be worse. worse. Could be uh could be spending the ridiculously stupid prices for too. booze and not booze at the uh Electric Daisy Carnival uh music festival in Las Vegas. That's funky. Distinctive software and Accolade, huh? Ballistic presents. That's a nice, that's a cool looking logo. Test drive two. Yep. Sequel to the first test drive, which we've already played. Best in the world. Ah. Uh... Oh no, this is another Amiga port. Oh boy. Oh! Wouldn't you know it? This was made by the former CEO of Zynga and Microsoft. He also worked at Electronics Arts. Oh boy. Don Metric. Yay. This game was released on Amiga, Amstrad, Apple II, Commodore 64, MS DOS, MSX, Z- ZX Spectrum, Atari ST, Genesis, and SNES. It's a game from 1989. Don't you know how to drive a stick shift? Let's see here. Um, Focus of the duel is driving exotic cars through dangerous highways, evading traffic, and trying to escape police pursuit. See, like what Mike did right there, that's an example of what you're not supposed to do in this game. (laughs) Thank you for showing us. And also, I can't help but notice there uh, that bird poop? Stunning realism. Where do you see that? Uh, Bug splat on the windshield. Oh, that's a bug splat. Uh, they would they would do that sort of thing later on in uh, uh, 
Prusian as well in the first person point of view. Uh, um, players given the opportunity to choose card drive level of difficulty, yada yada yada. Goal of each level is to reach the gas station at the end of the course in the least amount of time. Stopping at the gas station is not mandatory. One can drive past it if inattentive. Consequence of not stopping is running out of gas and losing a life. Fuck. You start with five lives. You have two left. <laughs> you get a bonus life for completing a level without crashing or running out of gas. Uh, in addition to losing a life, crashing adds 30 seconds to the time. Oh, well, darn. Uh, you can also lose a life when using a manual transmission by redlining and constantly blowing the engine. Mm -hmm. And it, crashing it. into a police car instantly ends oh, the game. It. Hey, gas station! <clears throat> you drove way too slow. Try harder next time. Hey, fuck you, gas station guy. What's your problem? You lost that you round. You lost that round. You lost the game. God damn it, I lost the game. Hold on. Wait a minute. But... Oh, I see, because you had penalty. Oh, okay. Nice. Hold on a second. <laughs> Ridiculous, that's what this is. You are dead. 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 Thought you were hot? Uh, Guess what? You're not. Let's see, uh, console versions have three vehicles, uh, a Porsche 959, Ferrari uh -huh. F40, oh, nope, oh, they ended my phone call. <laughs> what? Hold on. Who are you? Just give me a second. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I just lost the game. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I don't get it. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you know about the game? I, I'm, I'm so confused. If, I'm, if you think about the I'm game, you lose the game. Not. You don't know that? All right. Not really. And the, you guys aren't no fun. <laughs> well, maybe if you talked about cool things instead of "Are you lost the game?" Uh, now I just lost who, the game. Who again. are you? <laughs> you know, you know, you can finish this episode yourself. Let's suck my dick, Dane. <laughs> so, game rankings <laughs> says would. this has a fifty-nine point six seven on SNES. Mr. Mike. 35% on Genesis. Yeesh. A 52% by your Sinclair. Jeez, they didn't even like this game on the Sinclair. And Sinclair likes everybody. But to, to offer a rebuttal of like, I would suck your wee wee, but it looks like you got yourself a lady friend doing that for you. For that, I congratulate you. Dane's dad walks by. <laughs> you gonna suck whose wee wee? <laughs> oh, wee -wee. oh, you've got like a little cop. I've got a little. I got a little what? A little wee wee? <laughs> well, because there's there's a, a radar thingy in the top left hand corner, and uh, you could hear the the cop siren at one point. Pull over, you son of a bitch. God damn, there's a lot of bugs splatting into your uh, windshield. Nope, nope, nope. Too fast. What do you mean? You, you got arrested. No, I didn't. Oh, no. I made it to the gas station. You got a clean run. I think you broke the sound barrier. Yay! That's what I like. <laughs> Yay! You got the best speed! You got the best score! 
I get the best whores. You win. Hooray. You know how to drive. Yay. You are a wiener. Go down, wiener. You are the wiener. Uh, I was putting a little twist on the... Uh, don't Please uh, don't twist my wiener. <laughs> from uh, Ed, Ed Netty. <laughs> when Rolf falls into the sausage making machine. Oh, about hit that fucking car. I about hit that fucking car. Who can make the sun shine? You do. Sprinkle it with cheese. And I collect don't know. all the sneeze. Who holds back the electric car? Who made Steve Gutenberg a star? We do. We do. Uh, yeah, Simpsons put a lot of musical uh, numbers in their most recent season. The planet of Who the keeps base. Pamela Anderson tight? The Who wrote every of Oscar the night? Base. We do. We do. <laughs> Hurrah! I'm doing pretty good, actually, now. The flat price. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the danger. Planet of the Base is a very catchy song. I'm in the danger zone. I'm in the desert. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. Lada. Lada. That was my first track this time. Lada. Lana. Lana. Okay, Lana. Lana. Linda. Lana. Brendan. Which of my characters am I? <laughs> <laughs> Lana, Linda, Louise, Lois. Brendan. Brendan? <laughs> yes, Coach Bigger. Uh, I'm really. Uh, up, you know, uh, you know last up, you know, last year I was really squiggly, and this year I'm not so squiggly. I don't understand it. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. What, are, you, are you on drugs again, Coach? <laughs> are you having the detox shakes, Coach? Uh, well, I, I hope uh, somebody spent all my money. I, say, I hope somebody year. gets that joke. <laughs> what? I said I hope somebody gets that joke. Just because it was no longer in the Squiggle yeah, Vision. Yeah, because yeah, no. it was Squiggle Vision first season, and the second season was done in Flash. So yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Brad, Brandon, Brandon, listen to me. You got to invest in swords, Brandon. I got to invest, invest in swords. In swords, swords Brandon. Swords? Well, why, yeah. why, why, Coach? So, swords never lose value, Brendan. Uh, uh, okay, if you say so. Oh, that's that's what I did. I, I got drunk one night. I was watching Home Shopping Channel, and, you know, they were advertising swords, and I bought a bunch of swords. That, that's right, Coach. Um... Should I be taking advice from you? I I, I, I don't really know. Uh, Brendan, you see you see this tattoo right here, Brendan? Um, sure. I hope I hope, yeah. I hope you're not playing to your no no spot, Coach. No, <laughs> this this is my bicep, Brendan. Okay, oh, what bicep. kind of no no spot is a bicep? Oh, oh, all right. Calm your ass down, Coach. Now, yes, I see your tattoo right there. Okay, yeah. This is this is a tattoo of the cow from the cheese package. You know, I got this tattoo, Brendan. No, I don't. Because I got drunk, wandered into a supermarket, saw the package of cheese, and thought it would be a good idea, idea to get a good tattoo. I, good idea. Um, I'm still drunk from last night, Brendan. Because <laughs> I thought it was a good up, idea. Shut up, telling story here. <laughs> shut up, shut up me. From the cheese package. You see, you see this other tattoo, Brendan? Uh, of a naked Marvin the uh, Martian? Um, <laughs> look at my P-32 space modulator. 
Uh, so I'm gonna lift up my shirt and show you this tattoo on my ribs. See, I needed this, a doll. I needed a doll. <laughs> this, this is this is the banana lady from the banana package, Brendan. Uh, <laughs> me and the chicken. <laughs> I think Coach McGurk needs to go home now. Brendan, I, I went know, to. I a... got this tattoo, Brendan. <laughs> and uh, I went to a hardcore music festival last night, Brendan. <laughs> I saw several bands of uh, Jism Explosion, Orgasm, <laughs> The Whore's Left Hand, what? Tattoo My Cock, and Slipknot. <laughs> 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 I was, I was legitimately quoting the show to a degree. There, there's a whole segment where he points to these tattoos and he's like, do you understand what I'm trying to tell you, Brandon? I, I saw... To, 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 not, to not get tattoos? No, Brandon. To not get drunk. Okay? I, I still Look at me. My that. body is covered in marketing for things you find at a supermarket. I saw a I'm like a grocery that. list. I saw it. Giraffe Jism, uh, Pop Slap Explosion, uh, Violate the Pope, and Chumba Wumba. Violate the Pope. My favorite. I can't say I can't say what I wanted to say because it's a it's a no no phrase. Uh, we, we can do a Spoonerism version. Pape the rope. How about that Pape one? The, yes, sure. Uh, anyway, thoughts on the dual test drive too, Dane? I was getting distracted by Coach McGurk, really. <laughs> I, I understand. Um, yeah. Test drive two? Yay? Great bug splats. That was very realistic. Uh, I guess. Uh, this game didn't make me want to paint the rope, so... <laughs> Well, that's good. I'm glad it didn't make you want to punch a baby. Jason. Yeah. <laughs> this game didn't make you want to punch a baby. It was bad, and it should feel bad. Fuck you, Don Patrick. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's okay. It's not a great a game. It's a MS-DOS game on a Super Nintendo. Yeah. Super Nintendo is way more powerful than MS-DOS. Right, Jason. I didn't kick your puppy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this has no right to be on a Super Nintendo. I didn't rub my uh, bare butthole on your head or anything like that. Did you settle down? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you could if you would. No, I, I don't think I even would. That's just weird. Why'd you do that? All right. This game is the ass and it should feel ass. I don't know. I should feel ass. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Five. Jason. Two. Give it a three. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You uh, see this tattoo? This is a tattoo. Of Doctor Who blowing the Tasmanian Devil. Do you know what that means? I thought you were gonna. Nope. I thought you were gonna keep with the rhyming scheme. This is a tattoo of Doctor Who blowing a Jew. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what I thought you were gonna do. Subverting my expectations. Yeah. Wait. So Doctor Who blowing a Jew. So Bernie Sanders coach. <laughs> While listening to the Who. I'll spin the wheel. I'll spin the wheel. Well, watching a cartoon of Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> Warp speed. I don't know. Uh, I need some soup. Why are you in the soup aisle? <laughs> I just want some soup, motherfucker. Oh, oh no! Not a, another this. ballistic. Another ballistic game. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Back up. Okay, warp speed. Is this another Amiga game? <laughs> uh, if I had to guess, uh, since it's ballistic, it probably is. Oh, my lord. Oh, lord. Space Flight Simulator created by Accolade. Wait, is this the third game of the episode? Yeah. Okay. I... Designed by Bob Smith and Dave Friedland. 
programmed by Bob Smith and Russell Borogrove. If your game is programmed by Bob Smith? Oh, oh that that's grading. Oh. What the? F- the clickety-clacking of the letters. <laughs> oh, my God. It was like it was tapping uh. on my brain. Wait a minute, what? Training, pirate busting, carrier wars, no haven, skirmish, space maze, nexus. Campaign, resume campaign. Pirate busting makes me feel good. Rid the current scenario of enemy fighters. Scenarios make use of quadrants where you fly from sector to sector or use faster than light travel to warp from sector to sector. Uh... Most flight consists of navigating asteroid fields. Uh, some sectors have mines. Um, there are distress signals from space stations asking for assistance from oncoming fighters. Um, pseudo 3D gameplay. Um, on the plus side, this wasn't an Amiga game. This okay. was made for consoles. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, it's but Artist boy, Shade. Accolade really didn't make many good games, did they? No. No, they sure didn't. It. And Ballistic, it uh, seems, founded, made none. <laughs> founded by Alan Miller and Bob Whitehead in 1984. They went defunct in 2000. And Wob Whitehead. They're known for... They are known for Test Drive, Jack Nicklaus, <laughs> Star Control, Jack Mihoff, PUBG, and Hotmail. You got to say it that way. There's an exclamation point. What is it? Hardball. Oh. Exclamation point. I thought you just sneezed. <laughs> they made a game called Sneeze Sound. Hello. <laughs> oh! Um. Uh. Sega sued Accolade at one point uh, because they reverse engineered the console's boot protection. But Accolade won the case on appeal. Uh. Huh. Uh, Time Warner invested in them. Oh, no. Um, technical issues undermine the release of Bubsy 3D and Jack Nicklaus 5 uh, was considered a commercial uh. disappointment. Uh, what the hell is that? I don't uh, know. I, I thought it, that said hung pilot for a minute. Doesn't it, it says herg? Did a puffer fish and a pineapple fuck? I think. Jesus Christ! Uh, modest success with Star Control Three and Deadlock. Strong strong sales for Test Drive Four and Test Drive Off Road. Is Accolade, French firm Infogram is Accolade's... purchased Accolade in '99. Okay. So I guess technically uh, they're still around. By 2000, it was consolidated into Infogram, uh, formerly GT Interactive, marking the end of Infogram North America as a separate company. What remained of Accolade as an entity. Uh, in the years that followed, mm-hmm. Infogram purchased Atari, rebranded as Atari SA, before going bankrupt in 2013. Mm. Uh, Accolade assets were purchased by publisher Tomo, who later resold them to Hong Kong-based holding company Billionsoft as part of a strategy to revive several classic games. But the assets that Billionsoft held were reacquired by Atari SA in 2023. Mm-hmm. Um, Atari SA still exists. Atari. They are headquartered in Paris, France. They are in the video games and blockchain industry. Space That's destroyed. right. They're in crypto. Uh, Atari SA owns the rights to multiple franchises. Uh, majority are original works by Atari, Hasbro, or Infogram. So we got Atari Inc., Atari Corporation, Accolade, GT Interactive, Ocean Software, oh boy, uh, Infogram, 
and then a few others, uh, including Night Dive Studios, apparently. And Stern Electronics. Okay. <laughs> they hold the uh, they hold the rights to System Shock. This is um, stupid. Scintillating stuff. Mm. I, I. You know what? If you told me this was a Amiga game, I would believe you. Boy, this um, this is the, the best game I've ever seen. Whoosh. Oh, oh boy, I, uh, I oh I love it so. Oh, goodness gracious. This game makes me want to might want to rape the rape the the moat. Hmm. What? What? Twat? Huh? What? Twat? Did you say? I can't hear you. Uh, uh let's see. This this game doesn't even have rating. Like I can't find I can't find scores from other review places on it. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine why. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck the whack. Fuck the whack indeed. Oh, that was a cool explosion. Oh no, a giant space stingray chip thing. It almost exploded. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, can I can I give a really hot take right now? What? Make, make it spicy, man. Spicy take. Well, this game's not very good. I don't think that's a hot take. I think that's a that's very cold take, as a matter of fact. That's the joke. Pape the rope. Sector 6G? Oh no. We need to go one further. There we go. Sector 7G. You know where we... You know what sector we need to go to? Sector... Stop playing this game. <laughs> sector 7G is where Homer is. No, I... I, I, I don't... Look, they were in seven. We're in seven G right now. <coughs> that's 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 two better than five G. True. If you have a phone that has seven G, the person literally stepped out of the phone and started to blow. <laughs> it's true. Warp speed. Man, Billy thinks he's having fun at a preschool graduation. Nah, man. He could be here watching Warp Speed. Wow. You know, I, I suddenly kind of miss the horrible sounds of uh, Roadrunner's music. That was a masterpiece compared to this. I'm in love with the coco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that's some great jazz, Lisa. And I got Blah, it for the Lolo. <laughs> I'm in love with the coco. I play the adventures of Lolo. Peter, G Peter Gabriel was in Genesis, then he went solo. 
My favorite clown over. is Bozo. <laughs> Yeah, the, the best part of this game is the explosions. Sure. Uh-huh. They're pretty. Pretty stupid. Pretty. Oh! I mean, better than the ships just kind of flying into your viewpoint. Drake really likes to say YOLO. This, this game needs to be fire. yeeted out of freaking airlock. <laughs> An extinct bird species is a dodo. Yeah, there you go. A country western tie is a bolo. <laughs> That's true. That's right, Peter. Todd Grizzly is a Oh. Double Dragon's enemy is a bobo. <laughs> that is also true. Godzilla was made by Toho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. Mr. Burgess Bear was the bobo. Yep, that's true. <laughs> My favorite football player is Romo. <laughs> One of my favorite instruments to play is the oboe. Ah! Professor Quark! I. I'm obligated by law to tell you, boys. Solar radiation in Sector 6F or some shit. I don't know. Uh. Nine enemies left, I think? Or nine enemies killed? No, you've killed way more than nine enemies. I'd rather kill nine enemies than get nine enemies. I'd rather have nine enemas than play this game. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, but speaking of a Bobo, uh, you definitely got to check out that uh, River City Girls uh, game because uh, a Bobo is in it. There was nine <laughs> enemies that I beat. Yeah. Thoughts on warp speed, Dane? That was pretty fucking terrible. Uh, yeah. I just, um, when we were having more fun singing that song and doing different things with O, yeah. o you know, it's pretty bad. Jason. You know, I don't even remember ever seeing this at Blockbuster. That's how bad this game was. Wow. Uh, OG Genesis. Do I like this game? No, no. <laughs> Thank you, OG. Uh, yeah, this is crap. It's a flight sim, and uh, it's really not that great. If you want to play a good flight sim, you play Wing Commander. I don't understand why this game exists. Scores out of 10, Dane. We have Wing Commander at home, Basically. Honey. Scores out of 10, Dane. One. Jason. Zero. Fat zero. Uh, on this edition of the show, we played uh, Roadrunner, Death Valley Rally, The Duel, Test Drive 2, and Warp Speed. Best game of the episode, Dane. Uh, Jesus, I guess by sheer default because it was the least sucky, Roadrunner. Jason. You know what? I didn't like any of these games. <laughs> <laughs> What are you gonna, so what are you going to pick then, Jason? I'd, I'd rather freaking get nine of them instead of playing these games. So what you're saying is that you're choosing Pape the Rope. <laughs> yep. I too choose to Pape the Rope. <laughs> you 
can't do that. That's illegal. That's illegal. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this edition of uh, Backside of My Ass. If you like what we do, retro, don't you be retro with that? Sure. You uh, if you like what we're doing, if you yes, like, yes, if you like yes, it when we play the, if you like what we when we play these fucking dingleberry of the game, uh, <laughs> thanks. Please hit subscribe. Be sure to the bell to be notified of further videos where we torture ourselves with this endless amount of garbage. Uh, for Dane, for Joe, and Jason, and Hurst, I'm Mike Riley. Saying, see you next time on Pape the Rope.